Hello, dear artificial intelligence enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into something really exciting, AI agents. You know, Microsoft just showed us how these agents are about to transform the way we work and live. Imagine being able to build your own AI agent in a matter of minutes. Yeah, it's that easy now. But before we get into the details, let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered how AI is going to shape our daily tasks, not just at work, but in our personal lives too? Well, by the end of this video, you'll have a clear idea of how powerful and life-changing these AI agents are. Okay, let's set the stage. It all starts with an incoming email from a prospective client, much like you see on the screen right here. Now, previously, they had had people on the back end essentially receiving these emails, parsing through them, and figuring out what to do next. Who should it be routed to? What expertise did they have in the firm? But this is where the autonomous agent comes in. Now, an email comes in, and the agent springs into action. Imagine you need a digital assistant to handle some routine tasks at work, like answering emails or managing files. It sounds complicated, right? But guess what? It's not. With Microsoft's new AI agents, you can build one yourself using something called Copilot Studio. It's a low-code, no-code platform. This means you don't have to be a tech genius or even know how to code. You simply give it a system prompt. Think of it as telling the AI what you want it to do, like be a field service agent. Then you point it to some data sources, maybe a SharePoint site or some documents, and bam, you've got your AI assistant ready to go. Think of it like creating an Excel spreadsheet. You don't need to understand all the complicated backend stuff. What you see here is that it will begin to parse out the email, moving through the ambiguity of human language to, for instance, find out what the engagement's about, to check the engagement history, to also map it to their industry standard terms. And then finally, to try and find the right person to take the next step within the firm. With all of this information in hand, the agent then goes about writing an email that takes all of this information and summarizes it for the receiving partner. And what you see on the screen is exactly that. You just need to know what you want the spreadsheet to do, right? That's the same concept here. In the past, we used tools like Excel for forecasts. Now, we're using AI to build agents that will work with us on a whole new level. And believe me, this is just the beginning. So what exactly are these AI agents? Well, as Satya Nadella mentioned in his keynote, they're not just tools to help you at work, they're going to become a central part of how we operate in both personal and professional settings. These agents will have memory, they'll reason, and they'll plan. And here's the kicker, they're not just standalone bots, they'll integrate into your workflow helping you with everything from personal tasks to complex team projects. Imagine having an AI agent that not only schedules your meetings, but also remembers your preferences, knows which team members you collaborate with the most, and helps you prioritize tasks. These agents will be integrated into platforms like Copilot, which is Microsoft's new user interface for interacting with AI. Now this is magic, but it's only half of the magic, because now we're gonna go behind the scenes to see how easy it is to actually create an agent just like this. For this, we will move over into Copilot Studio. Here you see that we have programmed up with McKinsey, the agent, but not using a sophisticated programming language, instead using natural language, the same way that you would tell a colleague to get ready to do this task. You also see that what makes this agent autonomous is that we can set what's called a trigger. In this case, the trigger is set to watch an email address and to react immediately when an email comes in. But in fact, you can set it to look for events across a whole wide range of systems sitting there working for you 24-7, waiting for an event to come that gets it going. Copilot is designed to make it easy for you to manage these agents, just like using apps on your phone. The goal is to make AI an intuitive, everyday part of our lives. Now, this is where it gets even more interesting. These AI agents won't just work alone. They'll collaborate with each other, kind of like how your colleagues would. Some agents will work on personal tasks, while others will operate on a team or organizational level. They'll help you, not just with your day-to-day, -day, but also with complex cross-functional processes. It's like having a team of virtual assistants who know exactly what you need and when you need it. You also, just like a regular human colleague, add knowledge. Here we see a Word document, a SharePoint site, and a database about engagements. But of course, you can add additional knowledge sources. That includes line of business systems like SAP or ServiceNow or even databases. And the best part, these agents are scalable. You could start by building a simple agent that responds to emails, but over time, you can create more complex ones. 
that handle multiple tasks across different platforms. For example, one agent could be checking emails while another is managing your calendar or even working on a report for you. And if any of these agents need help, they can escalate issues to a human just like a real team member would. Imagine the efficiency that brings. Now let's talk practical use cases. For instance, one demo showed an AI agent handling incoming emails for a law firm. The agent was able to read the email, extract key information, and route it to the right person, all autonomously. This is huge. Think about how much time that saves in a busy office setting. The AI doesn't just stop there. It keeps learning and improving based on the tasks it's given, making it more efficient over time. And if something goes wrong, like if the agent can't find the right person to send an email to, it knows to ask for help. It's like having a junior team member who's learning on the job, but way faster. But don't worry. This isn't about AI taking over jobs. It's about AI doing the mundane tasks so we can focus on more important things. And finally, to finish up what you give this agent to do its work, you give it a set of actions. And we saw those in the flow. These are actions that include things like pulling out the relevant information or summarizing what a human has written. All of this together makes the agent powerful because it can deal, again, with all of that ambiguity that a human throws at it. You won't have to sift through hundreds of emails or track down documents anymore. Instead, your AI agent will handle it, leaving you to concentrate on decision-making and creativity. So how do you build these agents? Let's break it down step by step. First, you create your agent by giving it a system prompt. This is like giving your AI a job description. Next, you point it to the right data sources. Think of this as giving it access to the tools it needs to do its job like databases or document libraries. Finally, you give it a set of actions such as sort emails or summarize meeting notes. The AI will then take it from there. And because it's connected to systems like SharePoint or Dynamics, it can pull in information and work autonomously, all while keeping you in the loop. I know what you're thinking. This sounds amazing, but what about security? Microsoft has already thought of that. These agents are grounded in a rich set of data sources that are secure and private. Plus, the agents are constantly monitored. If they encounter a problem they can't solve, they escalate it to a human manager to make sure everything stays on track. Now, here's where it gets even cooler. These AI agents are not just for large corporations. Even if you're a freelancer or run a small business, you can use these tools to boost your productivity. Whether you're in law, healthcare, or creative industries, there's a use case for everyone. AI is going to help you streamline processes, reduce human error, and ultimately save time. And who doesn't want that? To sum it all up, we're looking at a future where AI agents become our everyday helpers. Whether you're managing a team, working on a personal project, or just trying to keep up with your daily tasks, these agents will be there to assist you. They're scalable, intuitive, and easy to create. This is just the beginning of a new era of digital assistance, and I can't wait to see how they transform our lives. So what do you think of AI tools like this? Write it in the comments. If you like this video and want to see more of it, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Did you like the video? Then subscribe. And if you want to be informed the next time I upload a video, then activate the bell. I'll see you next time. Until then, stay real.